We're almost coming into winter, about three weeks to go. We've just been caught out to this bee swarm on this clothesline here. So Jeff's just come out to take the swarm away for We've these people. Frame. Got a frame of brood here. There was some young larvae in it. I'm just going to rest this frame of brood under the bees. Rest it there. Back. And then the bees will start. Oh, they're already coming onto it too. They're onto that brood. No, they're not wasting any time. No, it's almost instantaneous, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, they've really come on the other yeah, side. They're not going to take long to get on here. Even though it's not a big swarm, there's definitely more than the frame. There'd be a couple yeah. of frames of bees yeah. there. Because they've almost covered this frame. It's been about 10 minutes so far, hasn't it? Yes. And I'll give it another five minutes. And then they I'll haven't it. wasted any time getting onto that frame, have they? No, no, they're very quick. So you wouldn't be able to shake those, the way they were, you wouldn't be able to shake them into a box. So the frame of brood, I think, is about the only way you can well, get them. You get the queen on there. After a while, that's where the queen's going to be, on that frame. On that frame of brood. We'll give it another five minutes and then we'll put it in the box. So I've got some lemongrass oil here. So I'm going to dab a bit of lemongrass oil on the tops of these frames here. Just a couple of drops. Another uh, bit of security. The lemongrass oil mimics the bee pheromones. Yeah. Well, I don't know if the queen is on there. Yeah, it's pretty heavy now compared to what it was when I put it up there. Mm. And all I'm doing now, is now I've done that, is put this lid on. And, yeah. So what will happen is that smell of the lemongrass will come wafting out of that entrance. If the queen is up there, the bees will leave the box and go back to there. If the queen's down there, they'll leave up there and go down to there. The bees have all moved off the clothesline down into the box. It just happens so quickly. So it's been six days since we got that swarm and we don't really know what their temperament's like. Giving them a bit of smoke, worm is unprotected, so I want to make sure she doesn't get stung. I've, I've added a, a box of stickies for the bees to clean up, so I had a few spares. I had a mat on top there, so she'll probably be in the bottom. I put a mat on top there, uh, so she'll probably be in the bottom box. I'm just going to remove this. I added about four more frames, so three frames of brood, and one frame with a bit of honey. This is one of the frames that they started to work on. One of the empty frames. Oh wow. Been... So I ended up moving that across. Now this is one of the frames of brood I put in, in there. It's just a, a foundationless frame. So I haven't spotted her on that one yet. This is another frame that we put in. Mm. The bees that are hatching out of those frames of brood are only going to help this colony, to strengthen this colony. Mm. So it'll only do it good. Oh, there she is, there. Where? Uh, oh, there she is on this side. Oh, oh, oh yeah, you wow. You got a good shot of her? Hang on. My hand. Where is she? Uh, on my hand now, but I don't want her to... She's on your hand. We actually misplaced the queen, and then we found her again, but now I've misplaced her again, so I'm not able to find her to show her on the video, and it's getting late in the afternoon. It's getting a bit cool. Close it up. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.